Now, most toy room, we're gonna unbox from McFarlane Toys in her Mortal Kombat 11 line. Here is Liu Kang, and it's coming up next. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Moe's Toy Room coming from My Room Tours. And today we're going to unbox and review from McFarlane Toys and their Mortal Kombat 11 line. Here is Liu Kang. You can see Liu Kang kicking back behind his window of pain locked in his plastic prison as he is ready to rumble amongst the tournaments of Mortal Kombat. He brings a stand to alternate hands and his nunchucks and will be freed very shortly this is for ages 14 and up you can see the box right there side box of Liu Kang in action figure form really cool picture that they got right there McFarlane Toys has given us if you are really good at posing these guys and have the right diorama behind you you could pose your Liu Kang to look just like this amongst the nice Mortal Kombat logo right there uh, in the background you can see more of that Mortal Kombat 11 representing right there with the nunchucks at the very bottom. McFarlane Toys at the very top right there. All right, folks, what we are going to do is we're going to save some time and unbox this thing. And we're going to be right back and review them. All right, folks, first off, tail of the tape. Liu Kang's checking in at around 7 inches tall, slightly under 18 centimeters. Let's check out Liu Kang up front. You can see how cool he looks. This is, to me, I, yeah, this, I think this is all new. So they might have maybe used some reuse on the arms, maybe, uh, from the other Liu Kang that was released. But I know the other one has garment over the top. We'll check that out at the end of the video. I'll put them right next to the other one. You can check them out. But what's impressive about this Liu Kang right here is the colors. I love the yellow and black. Very similar to Bruce Lee. I believe it was Game of Death. Um, he wore these colors. Um, he fought Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and a few others in that movie. Um, so that's really cool. And people had comparisons of Liu Kang um, to Bruce Lee. So there you have it. Nice, nice color change. Very nice, McFarlane. Very nice. All right, let's give him a quick turn. You can see his gauntlets look really nice on his arms. The paintwork throughout this figure is... Second to none. Very nice. They did a good job. I can't, I can't even imagine what he's going to look like. You know that they're going to do a bloody edition of this. You just see it already coming out. Now, the bloody version of this particular figure in these colors would be hot, hot, hot. And I have to have that. It would be really cool if I can manage to get one. If they bring one out, I'll definitely do a review on it on this channel. You can see the likeness of Liu Kang right there in the face. Real cool. One thing kind of hiding a little bit is, I, I almost missed it, but he has a headband on. And you can see it. You can see it right there. They've given us a black headband. You can see the back of it right there. But it's, it's kind of hard because maybe they should have added more, some kind of color or something like that to it. For it could really stand out and pop, especially if they make a bloody version of this. I'm almost for certain they will. Um, McFarlane has been keeping up and keeping up. And when it comes out to the variants, you know that when you play the game, you get a lot of variants, a lot of variant colors, and these guys get very, very bloody. All right, let's see what he brings. He brings an alternate left hand where he's pointing. Let me see if I can get my big fingers out of the way. You can see that. See the inside of the hand right there. He also brings his karate chop hand. There you have it. He also brings his nunchucks, aka old school choco sticks. Anyone who's ever gotten hit with one of these the real ones the real wooden ones knows this is no joke um and if you if you can there is video of bruce lee taking on a table tennis uh player um as he had nunchucks in hand there's there's videos you can look it up and this guy's like a world champion at table tennis and bruce lee is just taking him to school with some nunchucks on one side and the guy actually has his paddle on the other side. And it's just amazing to see as to how gifted Bruce Lee was. And I could clearly see how Mortal Kombat 
I, I feel that this is this character is their interpretation of Bruce Lee. Now, if they could somehow put this on a game and bring Bruce Lee, actual Bruce Lee, and put him in Mortal Kombat to, you know, kind of as that alternate skin, maybe he could still be named Liu Kang or just bring him in as Bruce Lee um, and put him on there. I think that they would sell a whole lot of games like that um, or a lo whole lot of bonus packs if they had a Bruce Lee uh, figure or Bruce Lee character in the actual Mortal Kombat competition game. He also brings the stand right there. All of them bring these. Um, they haven't changed it up. This is the same stand that we've been getting since McFarlane has been doing the Mortal Kombat figures. All right, folks. So it is review time. Let's check this guy out. He's very stiff. So I'm going to go on record and say that and I believe he has 22 points of articulation. Let me check this out and see. Yeah, 22 points of articulation. So, you know, you know how that works. It's, it's a selling tool. It's one of those things. But this guy has a lot of articulation. So let's see. Head goes down. Very nice. Super sharp. Looks up. Ah. Hits that Michael Myers. Not too well. That side, that side hit it perfectly. Okay. Linda Blair, where his head spins around. Obviously, this is a nice one from The Exorcist. Let's see how far his arms can move up. Oh, they are stiff. Yes. Oh, he's stiff. I feel like he's just going to break apart. There you have it. They could probably even get more, but he is so stiff. But why we are there, okay? You're going to see right here you have those butterfly cup joints. So I'm going to mention it right now because you got to go into that. It's right there, and you can see it really sticking out from throughout his back, right there, and it goes all the way around. And what it is, is that's a cup joint that, and you can really see it right there, it just popped out, okay? So what that does is it's going to allow that shoulder to move up and down and forward and back, okay? So it has butterfly cup joints on both sides, and he also brings his, if you hold it here, you can see it right there. He has that bicep swivel, that upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Both arms are exactly the same. You can see it right there. Okay. And then if you stick them out right here, he doesn't have any swivel amongst his gauntlets or amongst his elbows, but you can move his hands all the way around. Both hands are the same. Find that right joint movement to get it to move. You might have to maneuver that little ball right there. Um, move it around a little bit in order to get that joint movement but it's there and it's working very properly very nice really nice McFarlane let me see if I can get this one yeah that one did it too super nice you just got to find the joint movement right there let's go right here below his chest he has some swivel there okay below his chest and then does he have swivel at the waist if he does it's very hard to get it but I know that I have app crunch right there. I'm not sure with this waist. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. That's, that's unusual. It's usually, it usually comes out. But let's go right here amongst his bandolier around his, um, off his belt right there. You can see this is a, a different material right here than the actual leg. But with the, with the coloring that they did over there at McFarland, um, they blended it in pretty damn good. So this is separately, and you can see it right there. But as far as, like, his hips don't lie, that's about all we're going to get out of those right there. No upper thigh swivel. Does he have any swivel at the knee? No, he does not. Okay. And then double jointed knees, obviously. Same as the other leg. It's always weird as to how one leg, the joints always work a lot softer than the other leg. I just don't understand that, but he, this guy's standing pretty damn good on his own, okay? And then he has his feet move. They move really good. Down. Up movement. Yeah, you got to maneuver them around these little balls that are there. And what I mean by that is you could probably see one right there. These little balls that are right up in there, little ball joints. 
Okay, so they'll have an angle as to where they can move, maneuver around. If it's not in that angle, uh, then maneuver it around little by little, and then you can find that movement to do it. You know what I mean? So sometimes people are like, why is his leg turning this way? You got to maneuver it a little bit, get it into place, and he should. you should be able to get him to go. That's it for my review, folks. Let's give him a quick turn. Yeah, this guy, he stands good. I like the way that he was made. He's ready for battle. Look at that. Okay. And then let's see if we could get one of his nunchucks in his hands. He would, if he was, if this was Bruce, Bruce would be holding it much like this. Okay. How does that look? Good? Yeah, I like that too. All right, folks, we're going to be right back and take this beauty home. All right, folks, so that'll do it for Moe's Torum. You can see him right there side by side with the other Lucane. Yeah, he's he's different. This this ain't just a repaint. This He's different. So please like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so that way you know when the next video like this one hits. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Moe's Toys. It's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S. Most toys up on Instagram. We're also on TikTok. Hit us up over at TikTok. If you're a TikTokaholic, go to Mo's Toy Room. And there we are on TikTok. All right, folks. So from Mo's Toy Room to yours, everyone. Good night.